This is Nick at Stem Wings here, reviewing the Enhanced Dynamic Cockpit for 70mm plus EDF or turbine. So what you have here is the pilot information screens. The first up, showing you that you have a voltage concern. Um, normal screen will show that you just have a voltage that's an acceptable level to fly. Um, I have a little above 4.2. That's okay. It's a demo. Um, what we have here is the home screen, and this has a series of informational icons on it. Starting from the top left, we have a simulated engine RPM indicator that's actually based on voltage draw. And as you draw power from the pack, that actually rises into the red. Uh, below that, you have a time indicator that goes into the red, approximately four minutes of operation of the dashboard, not related to your flight time, although it gives you an idea of how long you've been um, on battery. The indicator below that is virtual horizon indicator. It's static. It just represents a typical aircraft type display. And informational icons and display below that along the bottom line are just representing like informational alerts or things that would normally pop up in full scale aircraft. To the right of that is just the um, icon for the particular aircraft that this sits in that's customized based on what type of aircraft you would like to have this for. The uh, power bars just above that represent the fuel simulation of a fuel tank. Those actually dynamically change color to red, yellow, or green based on the voltage level that you're currently at. Uh, we'll get more into that a little bit later. Just above that you have a loadout icon that shows the outline um, silhouette of the aircraft plus the just a little bit of simulated ordnance there. And above that you'll see two caution lights. They're currently green. Those represent a voltage uh, condition of 3.5 volts. We'll flash both of those yellow and 3.25 volts will flash both of those red. So if you hit those voltages anytime during your flight and you come down, you will see those lights flashing and we'll demonstrate that later. Continuing to the left of that, you'll have more caution and master caution lights on the panel. Those represent the amount of voltage sag that you have in flight. So if you have a master caution yellow, that just means you've been in a range of 0.3 to about 0.6 of uh, draw on your pack. If you get above that, then you'll have the lights flashing red uh, based on whatever condition you hit. Just to the left of that, where you see the red light and the four green ones, that represents the current engine state. Basically, you haven't blipped the throttle yet. And the four lights next to that represent each minute over the four minutes from the uh, dial with the first yellow matching the red on the dial. And now what we're going to do is actuate the throttle with just a tiny little blip. If you'll notice the, the left-hand column uh, bar indicator there, when we blip that, the top left red indicator for caution will go green. Here we go. Boom. Now we've changed the animation. We've started the actual active animations. We have an ILS screen here, which also shows a compass uh, barometer in that during the ILS. Now from here, we're going to transition to an active radar. And that radar sweep will have pings. Uh, it moves around. We're using three radar arms for higher visibility in a cockpit rather than one. But what we're really going to display here is the voltage indicators, which are simulated fuel. So on the right-hand two columns, we're going to actuate those down. And we're going to get down into about the 3.8 volt range so that you can see the transition to yellow. And there's our FLIR screen there just popping up randomly. Um, and since we have a variety of FLIR uh, targets that also pop in and out randomly, you get some variety here. So we're going to move that voltage indicator down into the yellow. And yellow means you're approximately 3.8 volts, which you're flying in EDF. Most guys know they like to come off with a resting voltage of 3.8. This lets you know in the yellow that you're there. Now, if you continue below that, you will get in the red notification, which means you've probably drawn the pack beyond what you would have liked to have landed at. So that just gives you a little bit of alert and warning on what the cell has actually done in flight. And while we're sitting here, we can look at the radar pings uh, a little bit more. They're just uh, sometimes they're random and sometimes it's an empty sweep. And now we go back to the topographic map again with the waypoints, the targets. And from here, we're going to move on to FLIR, which has a uh, random helicopter popping up in there. So we're moving our voltage indicator down into the red as we go, just so you can see the actuation here. So as we move this actuation down, we're going to get down into 3.5 volt yellow flashing warning range. And I'll just continue to, to draw this voltage down here so you can see how that works. So those two lights on the top of the F35 uh, loadout indicator, they will begin to flash yellow once I bring this voltage down a little bit more. And what that means is you've drawn the voltage down to approximately 3.5 volts in that cell that's being monitored, which is a good estimation of the rest of your cells. And we'll continue to go down from there 
uh, down into the 3.25 range. Now, you'll notice that I brought it back up into the green because once you've triggered these lights, they will stay flashing yellow if you've hit that condition. That's the benefit of having a uh, informative dashboard like this. So we'll continue down into the 3.25 volt cell range so that you can see the lights flash red once we've hit that range. So here we go. And now we're at 3.25 and we'll go back up so that you can see that those lights also stay red. Now, an additional feature that we have here, and you'll notice on the top left, you've got two minutes of overage. On the other side, you have the dial is now pegged at the four minute mark because we've been over four minutes in this video. Actually, we're around uh, five and a half. So we've got the, the ability to monitor what's called voltage sag. And sag, it lets you know how your pack is performing in flight. And that's important for a number of reasons. One is we're not monitoring a milliamp hour draw on this particular dashboard. Now here's the interesting one with the, uh, the plane icon, you know, modern, uh, modern fighter jet in the FLIR. So we're gonna go ahead and try to maneuver these uh, bars in a way that it triggers the light. Now these are very sensitive, but I'm gonna, it's gonna take a little bit. And here we go, we're gonna try to trigger the first yellow, uh, went too far, but you get the picture. So what happened here was we triggered uh, 0.3 volt voltage sag, which hit the first yellow light, which triggered a master caution. Now we'll hit 0.75 volts of voltage sag, which takes you like from 3.9 down to 3.2, and that gives you a red flashing light. So what happens here is we have a variety of ranges of voltage sag that we're measuring, and we're flashing and, and solidifying caution lights based on those to inform you once you've landed that you've met a certain condition in flight that makes you want to investigate your cells just a little bit more in your flight pack. Um, don't rely on this for your sole battery information. This is just an additional tool to help you understand. And so there you have it, the Enhanced Dynamic Cockpit by Stemwings. Please visit us at www.stemwings.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for any future alerts and information uh, about our flying club, our product development, and anything else interesting that we find in the RC world. Thank you.